I have a really important question for all the Japanese people out there. Is sushi roll actually a thing in Japan? And do you eat salmon raw? Please let me know. I'm super curious to find out because I got a lot of conflicting information on the internet. Anyways, for the 15th stop in cooking our way around the world, Japan, I'm making salmon maki roll and salmon nigiri. This was so, so good, although I wish my maki roll looked much better. But it was so easy to make. Do try it out and comment below which country we should cook from next. Japanese meal part 4 Today we're gonna have Japanese cat rice or neko mambo For today's menu we only have rice and miso soup Let's put the miso first Yeah boy And the seaweed And we need some hot water Voila! Miso soup We just have to put this soup in the rice so we can make a cat rice This is how you make cat rice baby Oh my god, you see that? Oh my god! That's right. I think I was a cat before. Meow! Meow! So good. <laughs> I've always wanted to try those Japanese fruit sandos that I see on social media, but can never find any in the stores near me. Today, I'm gonna try to make it myself. Start off with Japanese milk bread. You can find this at almost any Asian bakery. They are so light and they're one of my favorite breads. Spread homemade whipped cream on both slices of the milk bread. Place strawberries. 
pointy side facing upwards. Fill in the gaps between the strawberries with more whipped cream and then carefully place the bread slice on top. Carefully wrap the sandwich with saran wrap then place it between two plates. The weight of the top plate will slightly press the sandwich together to ensure that the cream doesn't fall out when it's time to cut. Let it sit in the fridge for at least 4 hours. After the sandwiches have set, cut in half and you have a strawberry sando. These are light, sweet, and absolutely delicious. Let me know if y'all will try this at home. Yo, that's good. <laughs> that's actually good. I was not expecting that. Let's make Japanese potato croquettes. Strip naked two potatoes, chop it up, and throw it in a pot. Give them a nice hot bath. It's been a long year. Dice one fourth of an onion, throw it on a pan. When it turns translucent, add in a quarter pound of ground beef. Season with salt and pepper, cook, and set aside. Drain the potatoes, mash it with a fork, add butter, salt, pepper, mix, then the beef mix. Now for the fun part. Shape them into these cute little potato things just like this and then let it rest in the fridge for 15 minutes. Then dip it into flour, egg, and panko breadcrumbs and then throw it in the fryer about two to three minutes or until golden brown. Enjoy with tokachi sauce or just eat it just like this. <laughs> so good! My favorite way to enjoy cabbage. Chop up your cabbage, extra fluffy. We're gonna need some Japanese yam. Flour, add an egg, salt, ice cold water. Mix together, Japanese yam, mix together. This is the consistency you're looking for. Chopped cabbage, green onion, fold everything together. Add the mixture in the pan, top with sliced bacon, put the lid on and let it cook for five minutes. Cover and let it cook for another four minutes. Takoyaki sauce, Japanese mayo, seaweed, bonito flake, look at that. What's up guys, today we're going to make some jiggly Japanese cheesecake. Start by separating the egg yolks from the egg whites, pop, pop, pop. Now we're going to mix the butter with the sugar until it's creamy, add some cream cheese, and gradually add the egg yolks. Add some milk, then keep mixing. Now add some flour and cornstarch mix again. Then we're going to move on to the egg whites. Beat it until you get sea peaks, gradually adding some sugar to it, and voila! Now we're going to mix the two mixtures together, gently using a spatula. Then we're going to grease the pan and then line it with some baking paper. Pour the batter into the pan, drop it slightly to burst any air bubbles, prepare a water bath, and then move it to the oven. Now we're going to bake it and voila! You've got your jiggly Japanese cheesecake! How to cook Oyakodon Start by slicing up some onions. Then break your eggs one by one, beat them up. Moving on to the broth, prepare some stock. 
Add in two teaspoons of sugar, one tablespoon of soy sauce, one tablespoon of mirin, and mix. Bring your broth to a boil, then add in the chicken and let it cook. Add in the onions and cook until the chicken is done. Once the onions become soft, add in your beaten eggs. Let it cook for a couple of minutes. Add in some spring onion and serve it on a bed of rice. I like to be extra, so I added an onsen egg and some extra seasoning as well. And there you have it, your delicious Japanese chicken and egg rice bowl. Now leave a comment down below and let me know what I should cook next. Enjoy! I know you want to learn how to make these thick, thick souffle pancakes. First, we're going to separate the yolks, add some vanilla extract and some milk, mix it up, and add some flour and baking powder. Then we're going to beat the egg whites into stiff peaks, gradually adding in the sugar. Now you just want to softly incorporate these two mixtures together without losing that delicate fluffiness. And after that, you just pipe or scoop this into a low heat pan, add a couple drops of water to steam, and then cover the lid for about four minutes. You can add another layer on top if you wish. Keep your heat on low and just take your time with these babies. Once you actually get these done, it is so satisfying because they are so easy to mess up, but the aesthetic and flavor is so worth it. Good luck and try not to be trash and burn your pancakes. I'm watching. Thanks, Yo, TikTok. Bro. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to make this Japanese snack. So it says fish cake, but I think these are more like imitation crab meat sticks. I'm using QP mayo, which is a Japanese brand. Then add sriracha sauce, depending on how spicy you want it. Mix that well, and then add more if needed. Then I'm using a plastic seaweed container. And just add your rice. I'm using medium green rice, which is a bit sticky. Flatten it and top with seaweed, and then top with the crab meat. These were so, so good. I'm not really sure what they're called, but it kind of reminds me of sushi.